Assalamualaikum and good day to Prof Mahani and Dr Rustam. I am Ronazida from Foundations of Education class. The title of my presentation today is Beyond the Classroom, Effective Students' Intervention. This video is prepared as part of the assignment submission for this subject. Hope you will enjoy this video. First of all, uh, let us look at the definition of student's intervention. It refers to a set of strategies and actions aimed at providing additional support to students to improve their academic, social or emotional well-being. Student intervention is like a toolbox of plans and action designed to give extra help to students so they can do better in school. It's about offering support in different ways to improve how students learn, interact with others, and handle their emotions. Let me provide you with an illustration on how students' intervention can be applied in the classroom. We have Emil here who is a high school student and has been struggling in mathematics class. He is failing and his teacher noticed that he had not been engaging in class. His teacher decides to implement a student intervention plan to address email situation. This is what we call a student intervention where you intervene and try to save the student situation before it becomes worse. Let us now look at the outcomes of student intervention which can be categorized into positive and negative outcomes. For positive outcomes, students' intervention can, of course, improve academic performance, leading to better grades and test scores. However, students' intervention can also bring negative outcomes if the student is resisting or being reluctant to engage in the intervention planned by the teacher. Understanding the causes and risk factors that necessitate student intervention is essential for effective implementation. There are about five common risks and factors which include, first, learning disabilities. Okay, so to recognize and address learning disabilities is crucial for effective student intervention to ensure students are getting tailored support for academic success. Second, Behavioral issues. Behavioral issues is in the context of student intervention. It refers to challenges or disruptions in the student's conduct or actions that may impact their learning, social interactions, and overall well being. Third, socioeconomic disparities. Acknowledging and mitigating socioeconomic disparities is important in student intervention efforts to create a level playing field for all learners. Sometimes students from not well-to-do family find it difficult to blend in with their classmates. Fourth, trauma or adverse experiences. Teachers must be understanding and provide support for students who have experienced trauma or adverse events in their life to foster emotional well-being. Okay. In other words, teachers need to have empathy. Fifth, mental health challenges. Addressing mental health challenges is a fundamental aspect of student intervention aiming to provide the necessary support for a student's overall well-being and academic success. That's all for my video presentation. Hope you like it. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.